<laughs> we did not even plan I that. Know. Oh my goodness. I miss you I all. Know. This I miss is so you. Nice. I know. I'm so glad to be back with yes. you. Yes. It's been so long. Oh it feels gosh. like it's been decades, but it's been right? a week. Because you were gone before I left, and then I was gone yes. for a full week on vacation at summer vacation time. And I know. I genuinely missed talking to you so much because oh, we too. barely talk. I know. It's, it's like this is our time that we're able to talk, mm -hmm. you know, like as friends with you guys, friends. Yeah. And so, so I mean, even I feel like day to day, like when we're here in right, Houston, right. my phone wasn't working half the time because I was it's out just, of the country. Yeah. You were doing your thing. Yeah. I didn't even have your phone half the time. No, I actually vacation, didn't. No, so. I didn't. Yeah. So it was, but was that nice not having your phone? Well, unfortunately with my lovely cell phone company, it says that we'll have full service in oh. Canada and in Mexico. I was in Mexico and then you get there and I literally can't use my phone unless it's on Wi-Fi. And that was the same thing when I went out of the country before. Yeah. I'm like, what are we doing here? Well, yeah. You, you it's have, fine. I, I, mean, yeah. I didn't really need it. It was a night. I, I took a cleanse off. I only posted a few Instagram stories. Mm -hmm. The rest, I didn't post it's, anything. That's, I mean, it's liberating. It's kind of stressing me out. Did you just hear my stomach growl? No, I didn't. I was in Mexico and we ate off the resort twice and my stomach has been so messed up <laughs> for three days now. This is the third day. And so I'm uh, like afraid to eat because we have a, we have live shows to do. So I can't be yeah. out here feeling sick. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Did you take like, medicine? I took, yeah, I took a bunch of stuff and okay. like it helps a little, but then it, it like comes back and then like, it'll be good. It's probably like when you have the food, like authentic food from the, the actual place I know. that does they say it could be like the water yeah but i mm -hmm. oh so when we were out the one night we went to i have some pictures to show you guys actually Ooh. put them in here um we went to a town called okay Ooh, there's babe, there's connor and you. i oh my god this was in um we were in punta minta and the town of punta minta is really tiny and we were on a resort the resort food no problem with the resort food felt completely like i would feel here but then we went off the resort into the town of Punta Minta, and then we also went to Sayulita. Uh -huh. And that's when, both times, that's when I had like stomach issues. How's Those Connor? are an iguana. They just came chilled with us at the pool. Oh. They're so big. Um, Connor had a blast. This was a trip that he gets to go on because he's top 10 in his company for sales. Last oh. year he was number one, so we had like a very special dinner with like just the high ups of the company but awesome. this year we were just with the group of yes. the top 10 and it was amazing and so just, just a dream yes i mean really oh, just these a dream. pictures are so good and i you know look beautiful and i'm sure it's just thank you look at that i yes. really like love an excuse to dress up so there were lots of for the first like four three four nights there were a lot of work events and excursions and then the back end of the trip was just it was just us and yeah a couple of our friends actually from here in houston um she is also a medical sales rep and oh. won the trip. So they were there. And so we had fun with them. And yeah. oh, that's good. And you got time to golf too. How was the, the golf, golf course, course there? was unbelievable. As you can see, we are talking right along the ocean. Wow. We have island greens and just views for days. But don't be fooled. It was a thousand degrees out here. I mean, it was, it had to be a hundred degrees with a hundred percent humidity. Like oh, you were and just humidity. dripping. Really? We, we think we have it rough in Houston. This was way hotter. Um, that was a town of Sayulita, but the golf course Sayulita. is actually very known amongst the golf community for the island green. And I'll have to post a video on social media. Yes. I did hit the green. It was crazy. But we scheduled a really early tea time because you're supposed to be able to play that hole when it's low tide, but the water was too high. So we still oh. got to hit the shots, which was fun. And it was just an amazing, it was so fun and so amazing. But I got to say, uh -huh. when I am out of the great United States of America, after like five days, I'm like, okay, I, you miss I the go country. Back. Yes. You start missing like the normalcy, yes. I guess maybe. Yes. Like nobody has air conditioning except for the U.S. I've noticed. It's, yeah, <laughs> that's a, it's a commodity. I it mean, is. Well, not just, I mean, some places you don't need the AC, like, you know, um, like in San Francisco, my sister doesn't have right, AC because right, the weather right. is so nice. But you know, when I would travel to India, we didn't, we had like one AC or That's two AC so units. Different. And yes, and I mean, we lived off the beach, but still it was just like, you don't turn it on all day long. Mm -hmm. You just turn it on maybe if you need to, yeah. but it's not a, yeah. No, and even, I mean, our like room, the room had air conditioning, mm -hmm. obviously, but I'm telling you, it's just, it's not USA air no, conditioning. No, it is not. Even when I went to, I studied abroad in London. Ooh. Yeah. And I was there for eight months. And 
even though London, you would you could say is comparable to the United States in the fact that they have the same amenities mm -hmm. versus somewhere in the Middle East or something like that. Yep. Right. But I still miss the US yep. so much. Mm -hmm. I would go to the McDonald's and just order yes. like the Coke and fries because that recipe Literally. is the same. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's what we did in Italy at one point. We were so hungry and like McDonald's is around the corner and that was one of our favorite meals. I I mean, and we're Italian. We love Italian, but it was just, it's just that like normalcy, that, constant. that burger. Like, yes, I take I have always taken until I started traveling. I ha never really started traveling until like a year and a half ago, really, uh -huh. like to yeah. crazy places. Well, not crazy, but but exotic, exotic. Yeah. Yeah. places. <laughs> That's what she meant. Yeah, we know that. I've been all over the US. Yeah. And I highly encourage traveling in the US. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's amazing to see our yes. country, but you can get a burger everywhere in our country. You could be in yes. Hawaii, you could be in Alaska, you could get a right. burger. You can't get a burger everywhere no. in other countries. No. And it's like, I didn't even know, I didn't even realize I liked burgers that much until yes. I was out of the country for like right. two weeks. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, I take burgers for granted. Or even the portion sizes. Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, in London, I was like, oh, that's it? Like, you know, I mean, we don't need that much food, but we're just so spoiled here, yes. I feel. And we so are. everything, and I noticed this even going to the Ryder Cup in Italy. When I went to the Ryder Cup here in the US in Wisconsin, that's a big golf event, Europe versus uh, mm -hmm. United States. Everything's just like bigger, double the size yeah. in America. Yeah. Like the grandstands, the pro shop where you, like where you get all the merch. Right, right. The um, concession areas, like everything's like miniature in Europe. Yes. Does that make sense? That, no, of course it makes sense. I mean, I, I've always- Especially living in Texas. Like yes. everything's bigger in Texas. I even, I went to Florida and I was missing Texas. Like yes, I was just, I, I was know, like, you know, right? like you yeah. like, it was just like, oh, it's so Florida's crazy, nice. It's great, totally. don't get me wrong, but yeah. you just- want But you know, I'm, so I, out of like my family and my boyfriend, I'm the one that's always like, okay, I'm ready. I, great trip, love it, appreciate it. I'm so happy yeah. I had this experience, but I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to be back in the U.S. in Texas. In yes. My, where like my sister and Connor, they were like crying when they have to leave. They really? don't want to leave, and they they get like sad. Like they're both Sagittariuses, though. Isn't that interesting? Oh. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. I'm a Leo, so I'm like thankful. Onward and upward. I think your Rashi, you know, has a big, big to do. Your your Rashi. Rashi means zodiac sign in Hindi. Does it? Yes. Oh, so you probably know a lot about that, huh? I know a little a little something. A little something, something. But what yeah, I put Capricorn. Does do you find it shocking that you fit I don't know much oh, about yes, that, but I do. I, I, I do. fit Leo. Yeah. I mean I can I can feel the people who are Capricorns because I can wow. I like sense the same type of energy in terms of just I just the that. vibe it's not like it's like a stronger vibe or uh -huh. something it's just a it's just uh and i'm not saying this because my name is rashi like That's my name crazy. just happens to be rashi and the no the what does your is actual name mean zodiac sign. Do, it does yeah, okay it does so, mean, so it does so it's like that. this okay. is your rashi it I, is my rashi you know, is leo yes your rashi is leo and so um now, and you find you you get along with other capricorns not necessarily okay but because it's a we have so many similarities yeah it surprises me that I get along very well with other Leos okay. because Leos are, you know, like think of a lion. Yeah, like yeah You're yeah. like a strong leader, right. confident. Um, so you would think maybe you wouldn't, but I always am surprised when I find out that others are Leos. I'm like, oh, I knew yeah, I liked I mean, you. I get along with everybody, but I I'm, do. I'm, yeah. But I think that it's not that I don't get along with Capricorns. It's just that I see so many similarities. Interesting. And I think like what are my the, best friends and stuff are, are so opposite than me. And not in a bad way. Oh. Like, I'm anal about cleanliness. Oh, yeah. Don't That's... care that much about, like, you don't care that much yeah. about cleanliness. I mean, you're not you're dirty. Is yeah. it, like, outgoing part of it or, like? Yeah, but you can also be, like, an introvert a lot, yeah. you know? And and I think, uh, I mean, it's just, yeah. It, it's a lot of, I mean, a lot of them um, I found have, like, more conservative, oh, okay. I guess. Yeah. Anyways, there's, there's all sorts of things. Well, but, it's uh, funny because even, going back to my vacation outfits like I love to stand out in an outfit yes and I and made it my great. mission yes. before I went on vacation I was like I have to have outfits that I feel like are gonna yeah. just be a moment yes. on the beach yes. cause how fun right but I feel like that's a very Leo thing to do <laughs> well, you, you know what I'm saying off. this you had a it huge off very bow well. on the front like and I love crazy. it crazy like I just love I don't I don't like to say I I love a, attention because that sounds bad but I have no problem being like 
in front of a crowd or the focus of a crowd where, yes. you know, others like yes. zodiac signs and stuff right. would rather right. like kind of blend, yes. not draw yeah. attention. Yeah. I'm it's like, weird. I'm weird because I, I, I would say because I'm, I'm in the spotlight, like mm -hmm. doing our job that we do and on Instagram, I'm out there and stuff like that, but I'm totally okay being by myself. I think you're okay being by yourself too. I right? am. Like, yeah. Cause I think we're comfortable with ourselves, yeah. but even that denim skirt that was just on there, I, I have a better picture of it that I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Low rise is back in and I love to be on the, a trend, right? Yeah. Like I never thought I'd wear low rise anything like uh -huh. now low rise jeans and low rise. Oh, it's back. It's back. So that's a low rise skirt. So like when I was wearing it, you could see my belly button and I was like, oh my gosh, this is taking me back to high school. Oh my God. It's taking me back to high school. Like Britney low Spirit rise. Is back. Yes. I was like, oh my gosh. I just saw JLo in some low rise bell bond. I was like, oh my gosh. That is back. It's totally, back. Oh my gosh. I well, just bought it. It looks like something I would have worn in high school, which is funny. Yeah. Well, all this stuff, it, it all, yeah, it all it circles all back. back. High waisted is still in as well. Yes. I love when something comes back, but then like the other thing stays as well. So then mm -hmm. you can do both like high waisted or low waisted. So my, my swimsuits were all <laughs> high waisted or you looked pieces. great. Thank you. So did you, but it was funny because Caroline is always like, you need to do, you need to buy this, whatever. And I told Daniel, cause Daniel's like, what are these swimsuits that you're, you know, you know, and then, what? So I said, you look cute though. Oh, thank you. I, <laughs> so I said, you know what? Caroline wants to buy me one. He's like, yes. Can Caroline buy you your stuff now? Because you know, I should bring, I just ordered one from Amazon. I should bring it and see if you like it. I probably, you're probably gonna look a lot better. I just, no, I, you, just, I know she has a killer body. She well, thinks cause she no. has two kids. She can't. Well, launch. I appreciate that. I appreciate you that. can. I also, I bought these like see-through like cover up pants. Yes. Um, took the tag off them cause I thought they were going to look amazing on me. I'm like, they're going to fit. Yeah. They were basically like capris on me. So I wanted to bring them for you because oh, I think it'll okay. be long enough on you. Yeah. They're just like see-through white oh, yeah. bell bottoms. Yeah, yeah, you would yeah, like yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, you wear yeah. over your bikini. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll have to bring those so for cute. you. I really but thought they were going to fit. <laughs> I do that too where I'm like, this is amazing. I was like, this is going to be so good. Put them on and I was like, Thanks. they were like about up to here on me. I'm like, I know. Connor's yeah. like, will they still look good? I'm like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll give them to Rocky. Well, I think the best thing is when you see pictures of people, it, it can be taken two ways. One, you're either happy for them sharing all these pictures from a vacation stuff. The other is like you're feeling like FOMO, like you're left out. And yeah, I just, I feel so awesome when I see like people yeah, out doing things yeah. other than their jobs. Yes. Right? Like, yeah. And that's a real trait that you have and that I have that's unique mm -hmm. and not everyone has it and is special. And I think that that's how you and I are yeah. so close because we are just such cheerleaders for each other. Yes. Even like, I mean, it's, I just love seeing people outside of their element, you yeah. know? And I think that's so great. And I think people posting things that are maybe outside their comfort zone or like, you know, putting yeah. it out there. That's great. No, it's I like, know. Yes. It's always like, especially when you're in a profession like ours, the whole like posting a pic in a bathing suit. I'm like, you know what? It's human. We all go to the beach yeah. and have fun. And you know, sometimes we, we get boxed in yeah. to where we have to post, you know, certain things or have to post where it's like only, I'm like, I, I yeah. don't feel like I need to only post news yeah. things. And honestly, I don't think people want to see just news things. No, they so love when they, like, like people things. really like the golf stuff. Like, cause I'm yes. going to post the golf stuff and they're going to be like, Oh, what'd you shoot? Did you hit the green? What club did you use on that hole? Da, da, da. Like it's going to be a whole, Oh, I played there. Yeah. That's on my bucket list. Like it's just a whole conversation well, starter. Well, just think of yourself as Taylor Swift. Okay. <laughs> You're going to love to see on her grid, right? Caroline Collins, like Taylor Swift on the grid, you'd like to see from her concert yes. and stuff, whatever. But then you'd like to see her hanging out with Travis. Yeah, you would totally. love to see her with her hair up at the mm -hmm. beach, right? Yeah, Those would totally, be better. Totally. So, anyway, oh man, it's all good. I know she really, I was watching, she upgraded one of her costumes and the dance oh, for her yeah, tour. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, slay. Like it gave yes. me energy just watching her. But yes, um, and yeah. I hope you do that too. You just you get should. the positive from all of that. And well, and I think too, like anybody, I bet you as well, me, like we go in like feeling like, oh my gosh, like I wish, I, you know, I'd worked out more or whatever. Yeah. None of that matters. No. Nobody's looking, no one cares. Literally, I didn't look at one person or think one thing about anybody. I was just focused on yes. having a good time, relaxing, like just all that stuff built up in your head, you know, just yes. put the bathing suit on. It doesn't matter what you look like and go have fun. Yes. And the people who do critique or have something to say have issues, deep rooted they, they issues. They have deep rooted you issues. You should feel bad for that person yes. that's critiquing you. <gasps> you know what? Daniel um, told me something and I don't remember the saying, but I wanted to share it with you all. You know how we're like, 
Mel Robbins, Jay Shady yes. kind of thing. Okay. Oh, also I have to tell you something else that I, I okay. <laughs> caught up, guys. We gotta get caught up. up. Um, the bigger your problems shows how small your world is. Ah. So, for instance, someone says something to you, mm -hmm. say management. Yeah. Okay. If you make that problem, say someone sa management says something to me. Mm -hmm. If that problem is huge in my head and it's taking over my world, that's because my world is so small. Yeah. Right. But if these problems, say it be a critique or it be whatever the case mm -hmm. may be, if my world is big, yeah. these things are so small. So whatever you take yeah. in, just put it in perspective totally. to how big your world is. I escaped my problems for a week on that vacation <laughs> and I came right back to all the same problems, but we were dealing with it, the hurricane disaster in my place, still not sure like with the living, oh, but right. it, it's honestly like when you think of life and you think of yeah. things more in the bigger picture, this mm -hmm. is a hurdle, it's an inconvenience, it's a little bit of a challenge, but in the scope of life, it's a little hiccup. Yeah. And we'll be just fine. We'll be fine. So uh, that was fun catching yes, up, yeah. but we have some more serious stuff to talk about. So we'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. We are, we had a lot of fun talking about mm -hmm. our trips and getting back into the group, but it has been such a crazy week of news here in Houston and nationally as well. Yes, nationally as well. Um, just so much happening. The biggest thing I would say arguably for us here, Houstonians, and if you don't know her, her name is uh, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, and she passed away at the age of 74. And it was really a shock to so many people, including us here. We were doing the 9 p.m. broadcast, me and Sherman Desell on um, Friday and we got the news and we're like, oh my goodness, are you serious? So we went on breaking news um, and she had pancreatic cancer. We found out about that about a month ago. We didn't know how bad it was. We just didn't see her at any events, which is extremely unusual because mm -hmm. she's at everything front and mm -hmm. center. And I've interviewed her many times. I've spoken with her many times. I know you have too. I had the opportunity to interview her once uh -huh. and she was, and, and I know she is, um, she's liberal and, and it doesn't matter really what side of the political spectrum you are. I really wanted to talk about this and me and Caroline yeah. both did because of the type of woman she was. And what I take away from her is being fierce, being fabulous, and also staying strong and rooted to what she believed in because she went toe to toe with men mm -hmm. that are in very powerful positions. She was right there fighting for what she believed in, whether you agreed or disagreed with her. What I was gonna say is she was everything that I would have expected her to be and more when I had the chance to talk mm -hmm. to her. And man, she commands mm -hmm. a mic, commands a room, commands attention, and it's actually really impressive to be speaking with her and, and yeah. hear her speak because, you know, we're still in a time when women still don't have the same yes. opportunities that all men have just right. because of the way it is. And yes. she's defied that all the way. And I thought that that was just amazing because she's had to fight her whole entire career. And, and she's represented women well. Yes. And it is harder, I would say, for women. And it's, it's fact to possibly get certain jobs, to get equal pay or even more pay if they deserve it than a man. And she is fighting right there with them in on Capitol Hill, wherever it is. Um, with Al Green, Al Green um, is also a very well-known um, Democratic um, congressman here. And I think that it's sad for our community. It's, it's sad just because she was such a pillar in our community and loved and respected by so many people. Yeah, even when I moved here, people who weren't even from Houston were like, Oh yeah, they have a beloved congresswoman there. I was like, Sheila Jackson Lee. Yes. Like I knew yeah. Yeah. who she was before I even moved mm -hmm. here. Yes. Because she just has that that power and right. um right. you just Yeah, she definitely made herself known in Houston and beyond. Mm -hmm. And it's I don't it's crazy to think that she's not with us anymore. It is so I don't think it's, it's not like, processed right. yet. Yeah, it was it was very weird seeing during Hurricane Barrel. She she's usually 
for everything. She's right there next to the mayor, next to the county judge, whoever, yeah. and, and she wasn't there. And so it's it's a great loss to our community, to the nation, because she's done so much. She, and she did a lot of uh, charity work mm -hmm, as well. Community. So she helped, yes. you know, with toy drives and yes. just helped mm -hmm. people in different areas. And right. that was important. She was present and involved. And that's more than a lot I mean, of that's what we say. can all take away from yeah. it. Uh, no matter where you are, again, in the political spectrum. Um, so yes, definitely a lot of people saying rest in power, and I would agree with oh, that. Oh, that's a good one for her, for yeah, sure. Definitely. All right, we'll be right back. All right, in case you all didn't hear the news yesterday, yes. President Biden has dropped out of the race for president. This was shocking to so many people, many people calling on this to happen, and I was surprised by it because he was so adamant that he was going to continue to run. Yeah. Um, and now we are hearing rumblings and President Biden gave his endorsement to Kamala Harris for yes. being the um, candidate. All The DNC doesn't start for a couple weeks, so August 19th. we will stay tuned. See what happens there. But a lot of Republicans saying that Democrats did this on purpose so that they could see who the vice presidential candidate would be so they could do this after the RNC mm. to have a better shot at whatever candidates they yeah. want. And well, we are following it here on Fox 26. You can go to fox26houston.com, download our Fox 26 news app because that's how I found out mm -hmm. because we were driving to the airport and we got the Fox 26 news alert to oh. our phone that President Biden dropped out of the race. See, you gotta download the app in Mexico, that is how we found out. It's very helpful, I'd suggest, and then boom, I clicked on it, I read like a little blurb, it was fast, and mm -hmm. then it was like, okay, I know what's going on. I'm not right. like hearing it from random people and stuff. So. Right. Download that, stay up to date. I missed you guys. I missed Rashi, and yes. I'm so glad that we're back, and we'll be back for another episode of Carolina Rashi tomorrow. Bye, friends. Bye.